I am so proud to honor you this year. Well deserved. Thank you, thank you very much. So I'm Carolina Denhardt, I'm with the law firm of Bud Larner in Short Hills, and uh, I am, I guess, somebody's favorite person at one point in their life. I'm a divorce attorney. Uh, but so much more than that, obviously, my story brings me to really a platform of empowering women, and unfortunately during divorce is really when women need it the most. Absolutely, and your story, I'd like to hear a little bit more about the path that took you here to Bud Larner. So as a seven-year-old little girl, I left Poland with my mom uh, with maybe five words of English. And uh, my mother left uh, an abusive relationship to come here for a better life for the both of us. Uh, we got here to Kennedy Airport. Nobody was waiting for us. And I remember taking my mother's hand and saying, don't worry, I got this. We'll get it, you know, I'll get us a cab. And uh, it was that moment that I took my mother's hand that I realized as a seven-year-old little kid that I had a higher calling to take care of others. And uh, as life progressed and my mother uh, unfortunately became involved in another abusive relationship, I knew that my life's calling would be initially psychology and helping people get over uh, abuse and domestic violence and uh, other you know, sorts of trauma. Wow, I didn't know that psychology piece. That's fascinating. Yeah, so before going into law and before my life took a turn with my own divorce, um, I ran a social service nonprofit helping people develop uh, individual habilitation plans, people that were disabled. And it really um, ingrained in me the need to continually look for the better in people and to bring it out in them. And then as I found myself in a situation where I had to um, move my life to the next stage because of my divorce, I all of a sudden decided to go to law school. Um, so a new career blossomed. So that is very uh, entrepreneurial and innovative. You took a, a major challenge and a major life, um, life pivot and you turned it into an opportunity where you're impacting so many lives in such a great way. And um, I really applaud you for that. So, um, entrepreneur, you know, how, how do you continue to be innovative within that corporate environment? Well, you know, I think that uh, there are a million car salesmen out there, right? There's a million uh, family doctors and there's four billion attorneys in the state of New Jersey, in my mind at least. So what do you do to stand out? And what I've done to stand out is I always put myself in the position of where was I when I unfortunately had to decide to get a divorce. And I was in a position where I had no idea about anything. I knew we had a house. I knew we probably had some assets. Um, I knew that you know maybe there was a retirement fund, but I had no idea whether we had five cents or five million dollars, no idea. And as I progressed in my own journey and I eventually became an attorney, I wanted to make sure that every single client that I have never feels that way. Mm -hmm. So through the tremendous support of Bud Larner, which is almost 100 years old and we've been great in the community for a very long time, I have this ability to work with women's groups and the community to educate women on what it means to be financially savvy. And I've taken this on the road. I do a, a course called A Smart Woman Knows How to Protect Her Ass Sets mm -hmm. because at a point in life, you you better protect your ass. And if you don't know what your assets are, your ass is not going to be protected. Right. So it's a very important message and uh, educational platform for women to undertake no matter what happens, divorce, disability, or death of your spouse. Wow. Well said. I, I give you a lot of credit for that. And part of this competition and the reason why you're sitting here today is advocating for women and community involvement. So are there other organizations that you're passionate about and things that you do that really make you excel in that area? You know, I sit on, on several boards. Uh, the board that I'm most proud of and most vested in is the Jersey Battered Women's Service. Um, I, uh, similar to here, three years in the running and finally I'm sitting here on this couch with you, which I'm thrilled about. Uh, I really lobby to become a part of that board, not only because I, I'm a divorce attorney, but because I know firsthand through experience that's personal to me and to my family, what it means to be um, less than. Mm -hmm. And to be able to work within that board and to work with the women um, is so meaningful to me. I'm so proud we just opened up the Family Justice Center in Morris County, where women are able to come in and do one-stop shopping. So the goal is to take the fear out of advocating for yourself. And when you're going through a change in life, such as a divorce, and on top of that there's domestic violence issues, how many women just never turn that doorknob? My goal is to make sure that that never happens for anyone in need. All right, so what, continue, what inspires you? What continues to make you want to do more? I think that with every successful story where I have a woman that comes into me that says, oh my God, how am I going to get through this? with tears in her eyes, disheveled, upset, broken, to fast forward the day when she's walking out of the courtroom or mediation if the case settles, and she looks great, she feels empowered, and she's not afraid. That's my success, that's what drives me, 
and that's what will continue to to drive me in what I do. Wow, what a great what a great way to have an impact on uh, life by life, you know, at one at a time. So, our theme this year is celebrating the unstoppable. Tell us why you're unstoppable, Carolina. I think that I am unstoppable because of what my mother ingrained in me, and that was that no matter what happens tomorrow morning, if you're lucky to be alive, is a brand new sunrise. And it's a new opportunity to either continue the good work that you're proud of or to set on a new path. And every single day, I am just so excited to be able to do what I do. My career, in large part, is my life, but it's my life because it's my passion. Well said. Well, we are thrilled to have you a part of this class, like I said. Um, I, I even am more excited because you've been so graceful through the years, and I know this is the third year, and um, that's Finally just here. perseverance, and I give you even more credit for that, and we can't wait to recognize you on November 14th. So congratulations. Thank you very we'll much. And see you there at the Thank Liberty you. House. Thank you.